is nine question eight the company sells one of its products for thirteen dollars per unit fixed costs are one thousand and twenty three per month and variable cost per unit is three seventy okay let's look at the copy of the question over here so this $13 is the selling price. So that would be S is equal to one, three, $13. Okay, let's highlight that. And we put it in yellow highlighting. Okay, fixed costs. So fixed costs are 1,023 per month. So in here we will put the Fixed cost is equal to one zero two three one zero two three per month. So let's highlight that. And there we are. And the variable cost per unit. Okay, per unit is three seventy. So this would be VC is equal to three point seven zero. Okay, so we have the information we need to do the question all right the contribution margin per unit is okay so let's have a look at that what is that well we will have to look at our formula sheet which shows contribution margin cm per unit okay now if we come down here you see contribution margin is selling price minus the variable cost. All right, so let's go back in here. So CM is equal to the selling price minus the variable cost per unit. Okay, so what are those numbers? So CM would be equal to selling price is one, three or 13 minus this variable cost, which is 3.70. So 3.70. All right, and that would be equal to, well, we can always use our calculator and go uh, one, three, minus 3.70, and that gives us 9.30. Okay, so 9.30, so the contribution margin is equal to 9.30. All right, so we have the first answer. And with that, we can highlight that in green. And if we wish, we could put this in a larger font size, give it a 20 point so we can see it very clearly. And this one up here, we should probably use a 16 point. And there we can see it clearly also. Okay, so 9.30, so we put that into the answer box which is over here, 9.30, rounded to the nearest cent. All right, the break-even volume, the level of output at break-even is, all right, so we want to find the break-even point. So let's come down here, we paste it in there, and we wish to find the break-even. All right, so let's go to the calculator we have information that enables us to do all of this so let's set it up and then we can get going with what we need to do okay so second six fixed cost is one zero two three so one zero two three and enter we go down, variable cost is 3.70, 3.70, enter. Next is P is the selling price corresponding to S over here, which is 13. 13, enter. Now profit is zero at break even, we know that. And the quantity we compute and the answer is one, one, zero. Okay, so the, the quantity at break even or the level at output volume at break even 
is equal to one one zero units. Okay, one one zero units. Okay, so there we are. So that is another answer. So we can go back in here and put the number as one one zero. We're not asked for the revenue, the total revenue at break even. Okay, now last part here, the profit at a monthly output of 226 units is okay so let's do that all right so paste and 226 units so let's go to the calculator all right so q is given now it's 226 so we enter that number let's go back now the fixed cost remains the same the variable cost remains the same. Nothing's changed. Now the price, the selling price is also the same, but what would change is there might be some profit. So we do that and we find out that the monthly profit is $1,078.80 rounded to the nearest cent. All right, so we go back to the question and we put in the answer 1078.80 1078.80 and we will submit and see if our answers are correct and they are all correct so that is quiz 9 question 8